One day while exploring the Cranberry Bog, coincidentally right around the same time we turn level 20, we pick up a distress signal on our Pip-Boy. This is Commander Sofia Daguerre of the USSA. This is an emergency. USSA, come in. Please, come in. There was a malfunction upon re-entry. I repeat, we've crashed somewhere. Crew status unknown. Broadcasting my coordinates. Please, hurry. USSA? They crashed upon re-entry? This Sophia Daguerre sounds like an astronaut. Thankfully, due to the wonders of Robco technology, our Pip-Boy triangulates the broadcast location. Heading deep into the mire, we discover that the broadcast is coming from an abandoned bunker. We've explored this abandoned bunker in a previous lore video, though what we apparently missed at the time is a pre-war transmission tower tilting to the side a bit just outside. Looks like if this Commander Daguerre is broadcasting from within the bunker, it's this tower that's allowing her to do so. This abandoned bunker doesn't have any lore inside of it, but it does have the Free State's logo spray painted on the door. And that's because it is a former Free State's bunker. The only reason we know this for sure is if we stumble upon a chance encounter while traveling the roads inside the mire. It's possible to come upon the corpse of a woman lying in the middle of the road. It's the body of Cora. On her body is the holotape, the government's plan. Raleigh gave the all clear. <laughs> Not sure what I expected, but it definitely wasn't this. I knew the government would get us nuked. Easy population control that you could just blame on the Chinese. Get rid of the unwanted lower class, cherry pick the middle. Leave the government and military to restore whatever order they want. But look at this place. <laughs> Have fun restoring this infected mess of a world, you dipshits. Next to her corpse is a duffel bag. And inside the duffel bag we find the note, Cora's journal entry. I turned on the faucet the other day and out came this dirty gray mess. Then I get to find out that not only is the water purifier busted, but my air purifier's gone to hell too. These damn vines manage to find their way through a concrete wall and ride into the machinery. They're so unnatural, I don't even want to think about what sort of government experiment gone wrong this is. Now, this just means I can't stay here. I thought about holing up with the others, but rumor is some of them want to help the survivors out there. Bunch of crazies. Those very survivors are the ones that ridiculed us. They killed Caleb's family. I even found two dead bodies outside my own bunker trying to break in. I'm just gonna take what I have and head west. Reading this note places the location of the abandoned bunker on our map, if we haven't discovered it already. In the note, I believe she is alluding to Raleigh choosing to help rebuild Harper's Ferry, which was ultimately a failure and was partially responsible for the destruction of the Free States. At any rate, we find the bodies of the people Cora was talking about lying outside her bunker. On the ground, we find screwdrivers and sledgehammers. They were trying to get in while Cora was still inside. Sadly, Cora's adventure ended. She is very much dead, but the voice we heard on the radio is still very much alive. When ready, we can open the door to the abandoned bunker. After killing a rad roach, we can turn right to head down some stairs, and we immediately see evidence of what Cora was talking about in her note. Vines from the mire have indeed broken through the concrete. We see them snaking all over the place, slithering across the walls and across the floors. They've ruined this kitchen, and next to a brewing station, we find a door leading to a generator room. And here we find what appears to be a wounded astronaut, Commander Daguerre. <clears throat> no, I can't think. Are you... Are you a doctor? Did the... Did the United States Space Administration send you... They must have issued you a stim pack, right? The United States Space Administration? What do you even mean? I'm... Oh, God. Oh, keep 
keep it together. The USSA. We send things into space. Oh, God. Ooh. Please. Can you help me out? If we don't have a stim pack, we can say, I'll be back with a stim pack. Oh, I hope I'm not talking to a hallucination here. Now, we likely have a stim pack, but in case we don't, we can find one right here. When I did my lore video on this place earlier, at the time we discovered a set of keys inside the bathroom sink. After much, much searching, we found a floor safe buried underwater in the utility room. But perhaps it was too hard to find because they've moved it. The floor safe is now a wall safe in the same utility room, and we can open it with the keys we found in the sink. Inside, we find a stim pack. And I think it's a guaranteed drop because I always find one in this safe whenever I unlock it. With a stim pack in our inventory, we can say here, Take this for the pain. Oh, thank you. So, you're real after all, huh? That's a relief. Mm. Oh, I can feel it working, but oh, just so tired. Not sure if I can stand quite yet. Mm. <sighs> My name is Commander Sofia Daguerre. I'm an astronaut with the USSA. It's a pleasure to meet you. Are you sure you're okay? Thanks for your concern. I'm still woozy, but much better. Thanks. I... I said that already, didn't I? How'd you get injured? Uh, my ship crashed nearby. I, I could barely walk, but somehow I made it here. I must have hit my head in the crash. Hard to remember. Are you really an astronaut? That sounds crazy. Uh, yes, I I'm the pilot of the Deep Sleep mission. Launched in 2070. Maybe you recognize me from the news? <laughs> well, minus the head wound. I heard your message. Sounds like you need help. Oh, that's a relief. Thank you. I figured the military would have arrived for the crashed ship. It's been... A while, though. I still haven't heard from my crew, either. Oh, God. I can't believe this is happening. I need to find my crew. Contact the USSA. Oh, get some first aid. <sighs> One thing at a time, though. Where am I, anyway? Come on. Do you really expect me to believe any of this? Yes, I do, because it's the truth. We can pass a perception check of four to say, if what you say is true, you've been up there for a long time, but you don't look that old. The answer to that is complicated and classified. I can't go into more details. How did you survive a crash to Earth? I, I was in the emergency escape part of the ship and well, it was designed to do exactly what it did. Where's your spaceship? I don't know where all of it is, but uh, the emergency escape ship uh, crashed uh, across a stream and up uh, the cliffside a bit. You're telling me you're from outer space? Yeah, right. <sighs> yes, that's exactly what I'm telling you. Trust me, I'm as shocked as you are to wake up in the woods of... <sighs> where are we? I've heard enough. Well, hopefully you believe me now. So, can you tell me where I am, please? Welcome to West Virginia. West Virginia? I, I suppose that makes sense. The, the ship would have tried to prioritize landing near the closest USSA facility. Probably. <sighs> Still doesn't explain why no one answered my hails. You're in the remnants of America, specifically Appalachia. The remnants of Appalachia? What do you mean? I remember... Almost... Damn it. What do you mean, remnants? What's the last thing you remember before the crash? Uh, the mechanical engineer on the crew. Uh, Dr... Uh, Dr. Bernard. He helped me into the deep sleeper pod. He said, see you in a few years. And we waved at each other. When did your mission launch? We launched the deep sleep mission in 2070. 
and I entered the hibernation pod very shortly after we achieved orbit. Why do you ask? What year do you think it is? Oh. Oh no. Oh, that is not the kind of question I was hoping to hear right now. I was supposed to emerge in 2075, with an optional extension to 2080, if things were going well. Wait, you know about the war, right? With the nukes? Are you serious? You can't be serious. Tell me you're just trying to be funny here. Please. Oh, God, this poor woman. Ready for some really, really bad news? It's been decades. Surprise. Are you being completely serious with me right now? Everybody I knew, I... except maybe if the others survived. Maybe... I'm not joking. You've been in space for decades. I'm sorry. Okay. Decades. But... We had fail-safes. We had contingencies. We... Damn it. Your mission is decades late. I'm guessing the USSA is... gone. But... The, the USSA had contingencies, plans, fail-safes, backup robotic agents. Damn it. This wasn't supposed to happen. I think... I need to focus on just finding my crew. There were three others, and I just... I didn't see anybody. Or any bodies. So they had to be in the ship, or maybe only my emergency pod crashed? I, I don't know. Could you go to the crash site and look for the ship's flight recorder? I it's not far. Eh, I don't have time. I'm sure someone will find you. I did send out the robot for help, so maybe that's true. But <sighs> maybe come back and check on me in a bit would be decent of you. Where's the crash site? Not far at all. I can't walk much right now, but you can almost see it from here. Almost. Take a right from the bunker. Cross the river. It's not too deep. Then... It's up the mountain a bit. I fell down the slope. Not sure how far. There better be a crash site out there, astronaut. Go find my crash site if you need more proof, okay? I just need to rest for a bit now. In silence, okay? And for the record, it's Commander Daguer to you. Thanks. I can get the flight recorder from the crash site. No problem. Thank you. I truly appreciate it. My body is still shaking, so... I'm gonna just try to stay still and listen to the comms, just in case. So, we need to head out and find this crash site. Thankfully, she marked the location on our Pip-Boy, and it's not too far away. After all, she did have to hobble all the way from the crash site to this abandoned bunker. Along the way, we stumble upon a new Wastelander's random encounter. It's a woman repairing a Protectron. Seems like it's always cloudy. You need something? My poor robot. All of a sudden, he won't move. We can pass an intelligence check of eight to say, clearly he's stuck in a function loop. Needs to be reprogrammed. That's hard to do out here. I'll take a look. Be my guest. Go up and take a look at him. Heading over to the Protectron. Protect and serve. The Protectron is functioning, but seems to be stuck in a looping pattern, not allowing it to move or operate. I really, really wish I could quick save to find out what happens if we sabotage the Protectron, but I was playing a good character, so I fixed the Protectron. You unscrew the backplate and rewire the circuit board. Circuit board, really? That's how they spelled circuit? Ouch. The Protectron is now up and running. Protect and serve. Heading back to the scavenger. I was afraid I'd have to abandon him. Oh my god! He's up and running! Thought he'd end up scrap! And that's it! No reward! Oh well, did our good deed of the day, I guess. 
But wait a minute, we're getting sidetracked. We've got to find this space shuttle crash. Our Pip-Boy marker points us up a hillside. As we approach, we see fire in the distance. Something big struck ground here and slid for quite a ways. And then we see it. It's an arc jet rocket. Specifically, this looks a lot like the XMB booster engine that many decades from now, Paladin Dance and the Soul Survivor will stumble upon in the ruins of Arcjet Systems in Boston. Arcjet was making the XMB booster engine for the USSA's Mars Shot Project, and it looks like the USSA was using these same booster engines for their other projects. Near to the ruins of the engine, we find the remains of her shuttle, and heading inside, thankfully, we find the flight recorder intact. But just then... Ow! Got myself an instigating crossbow. Wait, more! Unstoppable! Well, I don't know why Super Mutants chose that particular moment to rush me, but it just so happens that defeating that wave of Super Mutants was all the time the flight recorder needed to download its data. Heading back inside, we can collect the flight recorder. With the flight recorder in hand, we can test out our new crossbow. Eh, Gauss rifle. And head back to the abandoned bunker to check in on Sophia. I'm guessing nobody from the Space Administration was up there, collecting evidence and looking for survivors. Huh. Why do you need this thing anyway? It should tell me where my ship crashed and whether anyone else survived. Maybe I can even contact the USSA with it. Or someone. I got your flight recorder, Data. Now what? Oh, that's a relief. No, we just have to decrypt it to access the data. Our ship's robot would have had a standard grade USSA encryption key. If it survived the crash, it would be heading back to the nearest military depot. We can pass an intelligence check of eight to say, basic robot behavior subroutines would view me taking the key as a hostile act. Oh, right. Uh, of course. There's... There's an emergency code. Uh, blue sunset. I can't believe I forgot that. <laughs> In which case, she gives us an emergency code that she otherwise would have forgotten to give us, which prevents us from having to attack the robot. So tell me about this robot, Sophia. The escape pod's robot is a, a, an assaultron, I think. It's responsible for the encryption key. Last I was able to check its signal, it was returning to uh, a, a military base or doing diagnostics. It's hard to tell. Tell me what to do next. It's simple, really. Get to the robot and get the encryption key. I can tune its transmitter signal to your external device there. You should be able to track it down. Now, we need to track down this USSA robot to get its encryption key. Thankfully, with the flight recorder data that we downloaded, we are able to track the movements of this robot. Heading south from the abandoned bunker, eventually we stumble upon another burning piece of spacecraft wreckage. This one doesn't have the rocket attached, but we can still jump inside of it. And here we find an empty robot charging pod. This must have been the portion of the ship that had the robot, and it looks like the robot did survive. We don't find any wreckage here, but we do find one first aid kit. Well, the robot couldn't have gone far, and so hopping out of the wreckage, we can continue to track it south. We fight through many creatures until eventually stumbling upon a running assaultron. This is the robot Pandora. Warning, do not interfere. This unit is on an emergency assignment. Direct inquiries to director of the USSA. 
Do you have the USSA encryption keys? This unit carries various encryption keys for USSA flight recorders manufactured between 2066 and 2070. Now, if we couldn't pass the special check to get the code phrase from Sophia, the only other option we have here is to attack and say, I don't have time for this nonsense. Confirmed. Nonsense detected. Alert. Damaging USSA property is a crime. This will go on your permanent record. In which case the Assaultron attacks. And with my second character, I found this to be a very difficult battle. Probably because she didn't have any power armor. But after much kiting around, I was finally able to kill it. But since we passed the skill check, instead we'll use the emergency code phrase we got from Sophia, Blue Sunset. Access code received. Validating code. Confirming identity. Accepted. Welcome, Commander Daguerre. Transmitting encryption key as requested. Terminating transmission. This unit will now continue to USSA custody presently. Stand back. With that, we get the encryption key, and Pandora runs on her way. I thought about following her for a while, and in fact, I did follow her for a while to see where she would go, but doggone it, Appalachia is huge, so we can head back to Sophia. Incidentally, I find it coincidental that the two passphrases we have so far accumulated in Wastelanders both use the words blue. The passcode to get into the Free Radicals base at the West Virginia Lumber Mill was Blue Danube, remember? And Pandora's emergency code was Blue Sunset. I wonder how many blue passcodes we're going to collect. Back at the abandoned bunker, we see that Sophia has begun to feel better after using the stim pack. Oh, I just need to rest just a bit. Oh, my head is killing me. Oh, but she does have a headache. I had hoped I could reprogram this console here. But it's barely functional. Did you find the encryption key? We can pass a charisma check of six to say, I have your key. It wasn't easy, and a little extra payment would be appreciated. Oh, uh, sure. Makes sense, I guess. Um, uh, here. Thanks for getting the key. Unfortunately, it doesn't do me much good without a functioning console. And with that, she gives us 50 pre-war money, of course. It's probably all she had on that space station. Frankly, I'm surprised she had any money at all. Or if we had to destroy Pandora, we find an option to say, your robot was not cooperative. Here's the encryption key. That's okay. We have to do what we have to do right now. Thanks for getting the key. Though... Without a functioning console, it's not doing me a whole heck of a lot of good. So what will you do with the flight recorder data now? Nothing, I guess. Until I can get it to a working console. Why did you need this data anyway? It holds data related to our positions, so the rescuers can find all of us. In case something happens on re-entry. A failsafe, really. I don't know if it'll work. But I don't know how else to find my crew without this, since our comms are down. Can we repair this console? I'm not sure it'd be worth it, all the flooding down here. But we might be able to rebuild it, uh, above ground. You wouldn't know of a secure location, would you? Now, we could demand more money from her by saying, you can stay at my camp, but it'll cost you. I'm not a hotel. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Well, here. I know it's probably not much, but it's all I have. In which case, of course, she gives us more pre-war money. Pretty doggone useless. Or instead, we can be generous and say, You're welcome to crash at my camp if you'd like. Y you're sure? I mean, you've already done so much for me. Maybe just for a night or two. Until I feel better. Thank you. I don't want to slow you down, though. Maybe you should take these schematics. Get that console rebuilt at your camp. 
I should be able to get there by the time it's built. And, hey, thanks for your help. I bet this was not what you planned to do today, but I'm real glad you found me. And with that, we unlock the USSA console as a crafting item in our camp workbench. Console should be easy enough to construct. I'll join you as soon as it's live. Taking a look at the console, Broadcast Terminal, welcome user. Currently playing Daguerre Distress Beacon. Next up, Daguerre Distress Beacon. Change track. We can try to add a new track. Data cannot be read. We can try diagnostic. Error, feedback loop detected. We can try to stop track. Track cannot be stopped. Okay, well, I guess we just need to wait for Sophia to come back to our camp. Heading back to our camp, we have to first remove any ally workbench that might be here already. We can only have one active at a time. Bye-bye, Beckett. Then when he is gone, we can place Commander Sophia's USSA console. This is a mobile campsite then. Hmm. Fascinating. Definitely useful. In a short time, she appears at the console, and we begin the quest, Ally, the woman who fell to Earth. Help Commander Daguerre deal with the aftermath of her crash landing. <laughs> yeah, this place should do just fine. Thanks for setting up the console. I can work with this. This console looks pretty good. A little rusty in places, though. I guess you got these parts from a junkyard, huh? Resourceful. The scanner currently has a Model 38X2, which is built for scanning very specific locations. Not bad, but I would like to improve it. The year before I launched, the military was rolling out some scanner upgrades. One of those could give us more speed and detail in our scans. Can you find a scanner upgrade module for this? It would help us find so much more, and much more quickly. Where can I find a scanner upgrade? I don't suppose you can just swing by a tech supplies store, hmm? Yeah, I didn't think so. Last I knew, these types of things were common items in military bases and compounds. But my information is admittedly out of date. I'll transfer the coordinates to a local military base, but I can't vouch for its security status. It's hard to detect anything specific right now. What's so important about the scanner module? The upgrade module should extend the range of the scanner in our console here rather substantially. I can then cross-check some of the USSA data that you gathered from my ship's console, which will help isolate specific useful signals. I'll find a scanner upgrade module for you. Swell. In the meantime, I'll fix up this console a bit. Did you know that it still uses the outdated P-14B configuration for its power chamber? I mean, I know you all survived the end of the world, but using this as is would be like living in squalor and the apocalypse. Listen, I know you've done a lot for me already. Got me out of that sunken bunker and let me stay here. It means a lot. I still can't believe you're really an astronaut. Uh, you saw my wreck, didn't you? I don't know how else to prove it to you. You know, it's equally surprising to me that you've survived all of this. It's good that wonders never cease, right? Do you have everything you need for the console? Uh, no. I need a TF-85B adapter to improve the visual fidelity of the scanner, but those... Uh, those were being phased out when... When... <laughs> when I launched decades ago. So, now I need to be the one to adapt or else, right? <laughs> right? Uh, oh well. <laughs> anyway, no, I don't really have what I need, but I'm making do. I think I can muddle through with this. How are you doing? You've been through a lot. <sighs> it's hard. I don't know what to say. It's more than I ever expected could happen. This wasn't even in the realm of possibilities when I launched. But 
I could have been worse. I need to remember that. I'll be back later, Commander. Copy. Over and out. With that, we begin the quest. Ally, one small step. Find a scanner upgrade module for Commander Daguerre. This quest sends us to the Atlas Observatory. But sadly, I'm all out of time. We'll pick up right here where we leave off and tackle Sophia's quest in my next episode. I publish new Fallout videos each and every week on my channel, so if you don't want to miss my next episode, be sure to subscribe and to click that bell notification button. If you have already, but you still feel like you're missing out on YouTube notifications, consider following me on Twitter at Oxhorn. I update Twitter manually with every new piece of content that I publish. I've got a shirt shop with completely unique designs that you can't find anywhere else. My designs come on shirts in a variety of men's, women's, and children's sizes, and in a wide array of colors. They come on other products as well, like smartphone cases, pillows, posters, mugs, stickers, prints, etc. So if interested, you can find a link to my shop in the description below, or you can click here. If you like what I do and you want to support me in a more personal way, consider becoming a patron on Patreon or a member here on YouTube. YouTube members and patrons on Patreon are becoming increasingly important as YouTube continues to make platform changes that make the future of YouTube monetization uncertain. So to all my YouTube members and my patrons on Patreon, you have my sincerest thanks. I couldn't do this without you. But more than anything, I'm just so glad you're here watching this video with me today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon with more brand new videos.